Welcome to GK Mojo. So today's topic is percentages part one. So we are going to see some basic concept of percentages and then we are going to cover some terrific questions on percentages that are going to help you have a very good grip over percentages concept. All right. So let's get started with the concepts on percentages. So what is this percentages? All right. What are these percentages? Percentage means anything upon 100 all right you must be aware that till now even during your school and colleges you must be having percent as your final scorecard all right even your grades are uh, graded according to the percent all right so you say i've got 85 percent 50 percent 35 percent is the passing marks what does it mean it means per 100 so if you have got 85 percent for every 100 marks you have scored 85 marks this is what it means all right this is the most basic uh, meaning of percent all right so before we jump on to the question there are some specific things that you should know with respect to percentage all right you should be well aware about this concepts of percentage before you jump on to question solving all right so first one two successive percentage changes of a percent and b percent is an effective change of a plus B plus a B upon hundred percentage all right this is a successive change of a percent and B percent so suppose there is a number n it is increased by a percent first then it is increased by B percent later on all right so the effective percentage change will be equal to this this is the formula for that a plus B all right plus a B hundred so now you must have seen an ad in the newspaper or uh, or uh, on tv that there is a 50 plus 10 percentage discount all right 50 plus 10 percentage discount this does not mean it's a 60 percent discount all right this simply does not mean it's a 60 percent discount so in this case how will the effective discount be calculated minus 50 minus 10 plus 50 into 10 upon 100 why because this minus minus will become plus all right so we just input a value of a which is negative b which is negative and here also so this formula has a lot of applications all right so please keep this in mind so let's jump onto the questions now so let's have a look at the first question amit bimal and chandu are three students amit got 36 percent less marks than bimal and 16 percent more marks than chandu if Bimal got 145 marks, then what are the marks got by Chandu? All right. So here, what are you given? That Amit got 36% marks less than Bimal. But here straightforward, it has been given that Bimal has got 40, 145 marks. So basically, what would be the score of uh, Amit B? It would be 64 upon 100 into 145. Why? Because Amit has got 36% less marks than Bimal. So naturally Amit's score is now 64% of 145 because Bimal has scored 145 marks. Correct. Also it has been given and 16% more marks than Chandu. So also Amit has got 16% more marks than Chandu. So in terms of percentage how this will be written? 116 upon 100 into Chandu. This is what Amit has scored. Right. All right. So just equate this equation one and equation two. So 64 upon 100 into 145 is equals to 116 upon 100 into Chandu. 100, 100 gets cancelled. 4 16 zone, 4 29 zone, 29 one zone, 29 five zone. What is 16 into 5? So Chandu has scored a total of 80 marks. All right, simple, but you have to just understand the concept of percentages used over here and then equate both the equations. Let's have a look at the second question. Price of crude oil increased from rupee dollar 60 per liter to dollar 75 per liter. How much should the consumption of crude oil be reduced so as to increase expenditure by 10%? Only 10%. All right. So basically what is happening is price of crude oil is increasing from 60 per liter to 75 per liter 
all right so first i'll explain you there's a conventional way of solving this but follow my method whatever i'm telling you you'll be doing this within seconds all right so first calculate what is the percentage increase from 60 to 75 so what is 6 75 minus 60 it is 15 all right and this is increasing on a base of 60 so calculate the percentage 5 15 ones are 15 fours are 4 ones are 4 25 are so there is a 25 percent increase in the price correct there is a 25 percent increase in the price now they are saying that the expenditure can only be increased by 10 percent so just write this 10 percent over here all right and apply the formula of a plus b plus a b upon 100 correct out of this the a is 25 and this b we do not know just write it as it is so this will be 25 b upon 100 ones are fours are solve this all right this will be minus 15 is equals to 5 b by 4 5 ones are 5 threes are so b is equals to minus 12 percent so what why is this minus 12 percent so we have to decrease the consumption by 12 percent so the correct answer to this question is 12 percent so you have to understand how this was done this is the expenditure all right 10 percent expenditure is there which is increased this was the increase in the price all right and this is by which we have reduced the consumption so we have to just input it in this formula and find out the answer that is the way that is the easiest way to solve this question so the next question is virat invest rupees 3000 at the rate of 5 percent per annum how much more should he invest at the rate of 8 percent so that he can earn a total of 6 percent per annum so you must be thinking that this is a simple interest component interest option no let me show you how we can go sentence by sentence word by word and solve this question so invested 5 percent per annum for 3000 rupees so 3000 into 5 by 100 correct now they are saying, saying how much he must invest more so let that investment be p all right what is the rate of interest eight percent so eight by hundred so that he earns a total of six percent per annum what is the total now total is this three thousand plus this p so it will be three thousand plus this p into what is the rate of interest that they desire six percent this is the equation you have got now find out the p so 100 100 100 will get cancelled and what you will have in the end when you take everything on uh, each side variables on left side and numbers on the right side you will have 2p is equals to 3000 and hence p is equals to 1500 all right so what have they asked how much more should one should he invest at the rate of 8 percent so he should invest rupees 1500 at the rate of 8 percent to earn a total of 6 percent per annum let us have a look at the next question if x has got 20 percent more marks than y then by what percent marks of y are less than marks of x so i've seen many uh, people or many students educators using formula for such type of questions i do not support that uh, line of thinking you should always go by the concept it will be more easier of, for you if the question is twisted in the examination formulas will always confuse you in the examination so x has got 20 percent more marks than y so let y get 100 marks so x will naturally get 120 marks according to the sentence given over here so by what percent marks of y are less than that of x so basically we are comparing with x so the numerator denominator should be 120 which is x what is the difference between x and y 20 so this comes in the numerator 0 0 gets cancelled this is 1 and this is 6 so the percentage is 1 by 6 which is 16.66 percent which is your answer very simple so let us have a look at the passing and failing scenario question now adil scores 45 percent of the total marks in the examination and still fails by 40 marks the passing percentage of the exam is 55 percent what is the maximum marks of the exam so what is the maximum marks of the exam let this be m let the maximum marks of the exam be m so adil scored 45 percent of this m and still he failed by 40 marks so if he would have got 40 more he would have passed right now read the second sentence let this be equation one the passing percentage of the exam is 55 percent that is 55 percent of m is also equal to past this is equation 2 correct so 
equate equation 1 and 2 so you have 45 by 100 m plus 40 is equals to 55 by 100 m correct so now what you have 10 m by 100 is equals to 40 this goes tensor and m is equals to 400 when you solve this you will get m as 400 hence the maximum marks of the exam is 400 so again basic application of the concepts of percentages and then we got to the equations equated the equations and we got the answer so this is how arithmetic actually works let us have a look at the next question due to increase of q percent in the side the area of a square increases by 69 percent what is the value of q so what is the area of square first area of square is side square all right this is the area of the square so this type of questions do not apply any formula i have told you we'll use common sense to solve all of this question and then only we are going to a square exams like cad sat ift and all the uh, difficult examinations all right so let us assume that initially the area was 100 so there is an increase of 69 percent so now it has become 169 correct so area will be the square root of the side when we take square root on both the side all right this will give us the side so square root of 100 will be 10 and for 169 will be 13 so these are the sides so what is the increase in size over here it is plus 3 plus 3 on what on 10 so there is an increase of 3 by 10 into 100 which is 30 percent all right so what is this q this q is equals to 30 easy using common sense we are able to solve even a difficult looking or moderate level looking question and examiner will always play with your mind with such questions.